Hi, my name is Tara. I'm Dave. We're the Thirsty, Thirsty Drifters. Drifters. Cheers. Cheers. We make videos about reselling online, mainly on Poshmark, sometimes eBay, a little bit Macari, but mostly just Poshmark. And you can see what I sell and have sold on my closet, which is named Tara Stutes, all one word. Or Tara Stutes. No, nope, put it on the screen. It's Tara Stutes. I'll put it on the screen. And in every video, what do we do? I'm just here for the wine. We wine. Tonight's wine is Obscura. We got this in our Bright Cellars box, box that we thought was stolen, which was not stolen. <laughs> if you are interested in trying wines and figuring out what kind of wine you like, Bright Cellars is a one we found to be really good. It's the only subscription we've really done, and we have liked every wine we've tried. So we to varying degrees. We can put a link to their service. I think we get like a bottle if you sign up, but oh, I mean, cool. we we buy them every month anyway, regardless of if you sign up. What we're doing today is a haul, right? Haul. Most of this is from the Goodwill Outlet. There's a few things from the local Goodwill that I've not gotten ready to sell yet or photograph, so I'll show them. We usually go to the Goodwill Outlet in Indianapolis, which is like $1.29 a pound or something. I don't know what any of this is because I've been Dave mowing. hasn't seen any of it. And Dave's yeah. probably not going to like it. Great. And I'm kind of regretting buying a lot of these things also. So <laughs> It was not the best day at the outlet. But let's start with the non-outlet stuff. That's the little bag. You have a little bag too. This is just my local Goodwill. I had to get out. Just don't say that online. What did I say? You have a little bag too. You have a little sack. Is that better? A little get plastic worse. sack. I decided I needed to get out of the house and I went through the men's section at my Goodwill, which I never do. But uh, so this is one thing I found, Denim and Supply by Ralph Lauren, and that brand has sold, oh, there goes everything. has sold fairly well for me in women's, so I'm going to give the men's a shot. It was half off, so it was $2.25, and it's a plaid button-down shirt. I think I did check to make sure it's actually, yeah, it is actually men's. The buttons are on the men's side. I'd say that I'm probably going to sell for $20, is my guess. This is Italian leather. I don't know what the first word is, but the second one's Nash. Can you guess? This is the first time I've ever found anything by Patricia Nash. Patricia. I, now I can read. And I tried to find something similar on Poshmark in this print, and I couldn't find anything. And now that you're, like, holding it, I'm seeing uh, stuff on it. I'll just use the leather cleaner and get that off. But otherwise, it's in really good condition, it's like actually. Dried up barbecue sauce. It has this like pleating thing here. I'm an expert on dried sauce. It has lots of pockets. They look pretty clean. I don't think I saw pen marks. It oh, there's a lot of hair in there. Ooh, gross. <laughs> uh, and it says it's leather. Italian um, leather. So was the cow from Italy? Cow hide. Was it from Italy? The leather got to Italy. I don't oh, know. So that has cow. a long strap. I, I don't know. It looks like it could be an older style. Those Never found leather. anything like it. So Something probably cows. 50 at the most. Some of the nicer ones or the newer ones go for like 100, 150. This is the weird. Uh, this was a weird thrift store in where? Louisville. It was a good Kentucky. Will. It was a good will. Everything. But everything was priced. Everything was. With stickers. No. Yeah. They didn't even price it. They didn't even charge you that. It said one ninety nine, and they charged me the price of a handbag for which is four dollars. Understand that? Yeah, they had the same thing with the books. They had different tags that had different numbers, but they didn't charge you. They are the type that. Weird. Like they have a general flat fee unless it's priced, I think. Because there were some shoes that had the tags on them and were priced way higher. Anyway, it was so the racked, the racked, the racks were so packed that I couldn't <laughs> sort through the clothing. I was just, just like, oh well. This was from the men's section at Goodwill. I only got two things from the men's section that day. 
size is it? It is not for not you. Not my size. It is your size, but well, I need a shirt. where in the world is the collar? I need a shirt. I knew this symbol. Can you even see it? Smart wool. Ooh. So it is a smart wool button up, like chambray shirt. Chambray. Why are all their button up shirts totally unbuttoned? Uh, but it is an extra large in men's. Why don't I get this? You don't need another shirt. I, I guess do. you do need a shirt to wear under your I actually jacket. Do need you'll a see. Shirt. Well, you can try it on. It's an extra large. If I were to sell it, like maybe he can wear it once and then I'll sell yeah. it. I think they were like 30 to 50 for these. I'll never need another one until there's a funeral or something. He's talking about we're going to be going to a fancy dinner and he needs dressier clothes because pretty much my, he only wears Macho Man shirts. I can't wear my Macho Man shirt to this place. You could. They don't have a dress code. Yeah, I think people would probably look at me kind of funny. You need to keep getting items. You're, oh, here's a no, hat. That, oh, can't show you the hat because she says it's not time there's, to show you the hat. There's a couple more non-outlet items. These, they didn't have priced up at all. They didn't know what these were, I guess. These are Chacos. Chacos. These usually sell between $40 to $60 on Poshmark. And How much you get them for? They were five, four or $5. I can't They'll remember. They'll clean up. And they're women's 10. I see me cleaning these in the near future. Well, I'm not going to sell them probably till next summer. <clears throat> I have I'm another pair of those. So the last pair I found at the outlet that I have not listed yet because I I want to wear a pair for a day to see if I like them. And those others are my size. Just Lululemon. This is a Lululemon jacket I found at my great. Goodwill. Yeah. Wow. It is a Define jacket. Define jackets are very popular. It was six dollars. Uh, it had a size tag somewhere. There, size six. Six. And I actually found the color. You have to go on Lulu Fanatics to find the design color? and the color. And I, I will have to look it up again. I've forgotten the name, but it is actually a kind of a rare color. It's kind of a yeah, no kidding. Pink print to it, almost a space dye kind of. I don't know, but it was a, a rare color. I only saw two solds, and they were seventy five dollars or something. Boom. So that is a good find and it's in really good shape. That's all the normal Goodwill stuff. Everything else is the outlet. And let me tell you, this was not my favorite day at the outlet. She had a bad day at the outlet. We, I got there at 1230 by myself after our trip. And what is this, Tara? Why did okay, you Okay, go ahead this? and talk about this one first. I don't know what New it is. New Era. But it looks very interesting. New Era is actually, they. They make, uh, I'm pretty sure they, at least they used to make all the uh, baseball hats. Okay. It has more words in there than that. Huh. Collection, EK collection, or? I will have to Google it. There's, it's a size large, made in China. I don't know. That might turn out being something nice. It might, or it could be junk. I have not looked that up for the comps yet. What I was saying was, I went in at 12.30, immediately went to the, the shoes because they're pretty close to the entrance, and it looked horrible, like no good shoes at all. It, they have probably six bins of shoes. Well, then I had to leave and go to lunch with him and go to Costco and My then- bad. No, and then come back. And I came back, they had not put out any new shoes. <laughs> And I was there another hour and a half and they never put out any new shoes. It, I mean, it was junk. It was like, if I thought of this the other day cause it, it's funny. If you've been to the outlets, you can't ever find matches. It's like at the outlet, they take all the shoes and they throw them in, in like a ditch and run them over a few times <laughs> and then divide them in half and bring half of them back to the Goodwill. That's what they look like. They're always covered in mud and damaged, and you can only find one. It was really bad that day. I, I didn't get one shoes. pair of shoes. I love trying to find matches. It's like a I didn't even find one I wanted to find the match for. That's, That's how bad it was. I think it had been there for like a day and a half. Bummer. Okay, so this is one thing I got. One thing. This I've never heard of it. Modern Soul, but it's an extra large, and it has the QVC tag on it. So it's QVC. brand new. It's like a long. Somebody had a shopping problem. It's like a long sweater. 
Ooh, Texture. So kind of hippie look. It's got shoulder pads in it though, but they come out real easy. I have no idea what this is worth. Maybe 20 bucks. We'll see. Garnet Hill. <laughs> this was for my first trip. My first half hour there too. It is hill all over. My I, gosh. I debated if I wanted to spend the time to sweater shave it, and I will. I'll sweater shave it. Yeah. But it's Garnet Hill Cashmere Blend or Wool Blend. Look at all these pills. <laughs> Goodness gracious. But once I shave it, I'll be able to sell it for like at least 25 bucks, I think. It's Three a hours of work. I'll just sit and do it in front of the TV or while I'm watching the YouTube video. Goodness. It's wool and cashmere. Looks like somebody wore it and then jumped in a ditch. With the shoes, they and wanted to got some ran shoes. over by that truck that was running over the shoes. I got these uh, possibly to wear myself. I don't know. They're just American Eagle leggings, but they're sh they're shimmery. They'll probably not fit me even, but they were very lightweight. And if I want to sell them, I can probably get ten bucks out of them. Shimmery. Shimmery. They were shimmery. I don't remember what this is. Oh yeah. Pack Sun Los Angeles. Skinny. 30? Waist 30. It's a size 30. So it's about a size 10. And somebody's made these into shorts. So they, they cut them off and kind of hint. They did. I can tell. Oh. But still, they're very distressed shorts and they're a pretty good size and they're Pack Sun. So 15 to $20, I would say. And they're. I, they they're paint intentionally. Paint on It's them. all over. This is the kind of stuff I was able to find on this Wow. <laughs> Homeless guy shorts. Is that for men? What? That no, waist? those are for girls. I was going to say. No. If it was men's, it would say the inseam. Okay, where are you? Romeo and Juliet Couture. And I think this is an older tag. Size large. Romeo and Juliet. It's that a very um, l a long cardigan. That didn't work out too good, did it? Uh, I may have found a flaw in it. Awesome. Is yeah, there's some. Ditch? There's some. This person was in the ditch too. Seam coming out. I might be able to repair that. I have so another far, Romeo and Juliet. Are we over three with? I have a Romeo and Juliet Couture <clears throat> um, cardigan in my closet that actually has way more likes than that brand usually gets. It's usually not a very good brand to sell. It's very expensive in the store, but it's not popular for resale. But I figured I could probably get 20 bucks. It's a, a good design, but I have to repair it now. My discarded mask. Yeah. Tags. These are for Annie. <laughs> Lounge life joggers. These are just from Tar not Target, uh, Kohl's, but they're brand new, brand new. soft pants. <clears throat> She's at home for school, so all she wears this i do not know anything about this is weird but i could not not buy it it's redhead could not not craftsman since 1856 it's a vintage thing size large and it's like um it reminds me of a jumpsuit like an army jumpsuit for people that jump out of airplanes or something it is not but yeah you know, i know it's not the pattern is is it floral or is it just abstract floral camo? Or... It's, I have no idea. But it is a full length jumpsuit. I think it's floral, but they just chose like olive drab as the background color. I think it's, it could be something <clears throat> really good or it could be crap. That is the theme of this whole haul is I got such weird stuff. It's either going to go for 50 bucks or nothing. <laughs> gambling it is sounds like so it's a button up and zip somewhere it's got pockets everywhere i don't know it's a weird thing Listen, here's hair. another Bam, more hair this could be awesome or it could be a load of crap priscilla's is that priscilla's priscilla collection that's oh. a different person yeah it's a velvet gown and i don't know if it's meant to be worn really? it's like a one, out of the house oh, or not yeah one shoulder priscilla Long usually means velvet gown wow uh 
It's only got one strap. Somebody stole the other one. No, it's intentional. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out if there's a size here. Size large. It has a style number. I don't know. It may not be vintage, but the, the tag feels vintage and the tag looks vintage to me. Wow. So. Interesting. Maybe, maybe it's good. Maybe it's not. This is Dave's thing. So I asked him what size suit coat he wears and he didn't know because we haven't had the need for that in a long time. I don't wear suits. But I found him a Brooks Brothers 346 wool blazer coat. What do you call it? A blazer jacket? What is blazer. It to wear to the fancy dinner. Fancy jacket. That's going to so be awesome. He can wear this once and then I can sell it. I don't think they're real big sellers. Uh, men's Maybe I could wear my coach. Macho Man. <laughs> <laughs> I'll wear Macho Man underneath. You I could. like this. I mean, okay. I kind of like this look. Can I don't I do know that? that I'd pick Macho Man. Oh, look, Maybe I don't different. think it's going to work. Oh, no. That is very short. It wasn't that short when you tried it on the first time. It's weird. How did you let your arms grow overnight? <laughs> well, I went go, go, you gadget could, on. Well, or... you just fold them up. And then yeah. wear the t-shirt and the backwards hat, and it's on purpose. Yeah, I yeah, can do Yeah, that's not my... going to work. That's not your size. Tonight in sports. Get another yeah. item. Anybody watch baseball? Nope. San Francisco was on fire last night. Take they your... scored 20-some runs. Take the jacket off. No, I'm... It's dirty. I'm wearing it. Look it was at this. in the bins. It was in the ditch. Macho man. It was in the ditch with the other people. I need to soak this and wash it. Oh man. Another another um scrape in the bottom for anything. I think this one smelled bad too. Zara Man? Zara Man. So we know the brand Zara and this is the men's line. Then the men's line actually does better than the Small women's US. for resale. I actually picked this up because I wanted it for myself. She picked it up. I mean, picked it up out of the bin. That's why I picked it up. And I, I mean, picked it up. So if I can't get it clean, it's just dingy. It's kind needs of dingy. a soak. If I can't get it clean, I'm going to wear it. Here's another um, that maybe nobody will ever like, but it could be actually an expensive wearing, sale. Wearing this jacket makes me feel very important. Do you want to talk about life insurance again? Sure. <laughs> Uh, this has no brand. It's just a fabric. It reminds me of, like the Mexican type of fabric you see yeah. in all the, uh, on the souvenir ponchos. shops. Yeah, ponchos. But I think it's kind of cool. It's a, a half circle shape, zip top. Another one of those, it's either going to sell or people are going to hate it. Yeah, but I think this is going to be a winner. I think people will see it and I see the vision. I see the vision, Terry. All right, there's that one. That one may be a... Okay. All right. Choice. Ooh, I see a, see a hat. <laughs> this oh is for you, actually. Goodness. I gotta watch it. Watch. Whoa. Wash it. It is so dirty. This it was is. in the ditch with the, the lady shoes, yeah. and the shoes. Top of the world headwear. Take less, do more. I I like the message. Cool. And once I wash it. Yeah, and it's got the mountains on it. I'll rock this hat for sure, but you gotta wash it. Whoa. I will. Look at how dirty it is. And that was in the same bag as that coat, and you're though. just wearing the coat. Yeah, whatever. I'm gonna take a shower later. It's fine. It's fine. This is a um, Columbia waffle knit ho hooded like t-shirt. Um, so not worth a ton, Columbia. but it's size large. It's like an oatmeal color. I couldn't find a single stain on it. Looks like it's actually never been worn. Not that I will say it's never been worn, but it's in really good condition. So that'd probably be fifteen to twenty dollars. What do like you have? <laughs> oh, a vest! It's so shiny. I had to. I had a to look at it. A shiny vest, and it is. Livy? You can show the tag, yeah. Livy. I believe Livy Active is the activewear line of Lane Bryant. Cut the, uh... So it's a plus size quilted vest that is very shiny. I did not mm. look up comps. Imagine this underneath. <laughs> yeah. 
We're not going to be able to go to this restaurant. <laughs> I'm definitely going to embarrass us. Uh, this is a fossil wallet. Black leather. It has the key. Oh, the key to what? The city? Uh, the key is not to anything. What city? Is this the key was in to? Indianapolis. The key Nobody to Indianapolis? Nobody wants that key. Oh. I should probably check all the little oh, dividers cool. for. Um, yeah, maybe there'll be stuff. money. I hear movement. I think a kid's coming in the house. Great. This will probably be $25, I would guess. Oh, these are weird. These are weird. They're not anything super special. Gab 1969, 30T, sexy boyfriend. But the color, it's like. So they're 30 tall. Dark to light. It's called a dip dye. Except they. Must have hung them up upside down and dip dyed them. Show us again. I said hung them up. Hung them up. Oh, like this? Exactly. Thank you. There's the dip dye. Can I say hi? Sure. You can come say hi on the camera. That's There's Eddie. Edison. That's Eddie. Where's the juice? Where's the juice? I don't know. We'll talk about it in a few minutes. Where do you all keep your juice? I we keep like ours in the refrigerator. It's not in the refrigerator, though. Or I feel like not. this is a good brand, but I've never tried to sell it. Herman Geist. Herman. It's a blazer, and it's wool, and it's plaid. So, I didn't look up comps for this one either, but it, I think, is in good shape. I'll probably find a flaw tomorrow. I didn't check the pockets yet. Oh, oh they're, she'll they're find faux the pockets. Flaw. They're not real pockets. She'll find the So floor. I don't know what this one is worth at all. This is Lululemon. This is an older style Lululemon tank. So these do not sell fast at all, but... What size is it? It's an eight. I found the... Size in, eight. And the boob pocket <clears throat> is the size. The boob pocket. So if I can't sell it, I can wear it. Um, Always check the boob pocket. But it weighs not very much at all. You want to see what I'm talking about? I really like the front of this one. There's a pocket to put your boob in? No, they inside <laughs> has places to put the padded bras and such. And usually in there somewhere is the size dot there. You look in the t tiny little pockets and find them. Okay, what are you? Fabletics leggings and they have hair all over them. They have no size. They stink really bad. Jeez, they got a lot going it? for them. They got a lot going for Once them. Once I wash them, they'll be in good shape. They're not worn Everything or pilled so or anything. Far. They're like oh. crop length leggings. Oh my god! Can you smell it? Just get away from me. <laughs> These are oh, probably so they smell like cornflakes. <laughs> yeah. These are. Probably... <laughs> yeah. Twenty to twenty-five dollars corn. Flakes. Yeah, like cornflakes. Okay. Now we Very get, pungent cornflake smell. Now we get <laughs> to the really weird stuff. I have very good smell. Uh, my old, I have olfactory awareness. You Most wanna, people you don't. Do this one? It's your turn. And they stink. You don't even know it. I smell you though. But he stinks and he knows it and he doesn't care. He just Nobody? makes us. Deal with this jacket it. makes me. I feel like you're in Miami Vice or something. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Anybody want to be my date to this dinner? Because Dave's not gonna be able to go. Oh, I'm point. going. And if you, and I'll fight your date before we go. Platonic date, of course. Get my sleeve ripped off in a fight, <laughs> and still go. Okay, show this. I don't know what this is. Fix Sun Casual. What in Look the hell? Look at the show the tag how Dude, it's a woman's face on it. What are you doing buying this stuff? Look at it. This it's is got, a velvet it's plaid got, jacket. Yes, it has pads in the yes, shoulder it's pads. It's a velvet long jacket. And I just found a rip I have to fix. I may have already known that, actually. I did know that. Look at the colors. This is exactly the fall colors. It's velvet. I can't, I can't not buy this kind of weird stuff. Wow. 
Okay, there's more weird coming. This isn't so weird. I've never tried to sell this brand. More weird coming, huh? I've never tried to sell this brand. It looks like the Patagonia Snap Tea. Is that what they call them? But it's simply Southern. Can you see that? It's simply not Patagonia. So I've never Patagonia. tried to buy, tried to sell simply Southern. This is an extra large black and pink pullover. It's quilted. And it looks dirty. Everything looks dirty. I not as dirty. It. No, this doesn't look that bad. The, uh, well, yeah, the jacket's kind of. Okay, here's something you can do. I don't think this is that unusual. Oh, it was just kind of funny. I was having fun just watching. Jelly Belly. <laughs> it's just a Jelly Belly hoodie. I don't know what that brand is. But I don't know. It's just but it's, a Jelly Belly. It says Jelly Belly. Hoodie. What size is it? Not big. <laughs> not big. Like size it's not big. <laughs> it's a smaller medium. Small. Medium. Also known as small. We're saying it's not a large size. Okay, this weighs a lot of pounds. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, here it is. We could put, if we just put that on Facebook, Marketplace, Newcastle, somebody in Newcastle wants that. Fringe. They're gonna ride their. I have tried to sell lots of vintage leather jackets. Uh, so, this year, if I can't do well with any of the ones I've bought, I will be giving up. It's like Ostrich. Herman's the Leather Experts. That's the tag. That looks like Ostrich. What? I don't know. I don't know. Are it you looks... making fun of me? No, it looks like Ostrich. I have a like similar kind of jacket. Like it is suede and has a different texture here, a very you do similar not have texture. A like that. But it doesn't have any fringe on it. She doesn't. I mean, have a on like on. My Poshmark closet, not oh. in my closet. I wouldn't to wear. You wouldn't be seen with me in this. I would because you're. I'm not shallow like that, but. There I may would, only be one thing left. I would wonder why you okay. liked it so much. Okay, here's the last thing. I saw this come out, oh. and then nobody oh got it. Yeah. Nobody got it. Oh my Is this, gosh. I, I want you to look at the tag because you're going to be shocked. Farrah ski wear. No, you didn't look at the most interesting part. Men's. It's a men's. <laughs> it doesn't M -L look like ML 42. Oh this does my not look like gosh. a men's jacket to me. I bet this thing's really warm though. And it is in really good shape. Wow. Really good shape, but it's definitely vintage, like true vintage. Check the pockets. For money, I think I did, yeah, because. A lot of times, people that ski are pretty rich. Yeah, there's nothing in there. <laughs> stereotyping people. Am I wrong? Did you show the You ever been to Aspen? There's yeah. that. So. Yeah, I've never been skiing, so it's probably something. I had to buy this. Look at that. Wow, that is very nice, Jerry. Good fun. Oh, it is a little stain right on the front. I haven't washed it it's yet. It's fine. Can you see those? I can't. So that's all I got. Got no shoes. I spent. Did she tell I was you guys twice. that the shoes were not? I didn't, it was a I bad shoe situation. That yet. Bad but shoe situation. The first time I only I spent there, like seven dollars, and the second time I spent imagine. twenty-six. You can imagine. So. Well, how much did you spend? The second time I spent twenty-six. The first time it was like seven. So total. Was it seven? That'd be thirty-three. All right. So that was that was it. Um, I am not real confident in my choices. I know they're weird, but I bought a lot of some weird of, things, yeah. and, and then nobody us, buys them. It's probably some of it's gonna sell. Some of it's probably gonna get donated. I just want <laughs> to the same people. I want it to sell for a good amount. That's the whole point to make a profit. I think some of these are unique enough that that they might go for quite a bit, 50, 75, I mean, we'll see. I'm usually wrong, like on the unique things I think that are bad, they usually sell. So I'll, I'll probably be wrong, I usually am wrong. We shall see. So uh, that's, that's the end of that. We're gonna make some more videos another day. We need to get back in the groove of 
doing videos. It is going to get colder, which means we won't want to be outside as much. So yeah, I just can do mow, more I mow a lot during the summer, and it's like I just don't feel like doing anything. It's like this with his coat on. <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> I don't know what you're going to wear now, though. I think this is cool. I think I'm going to wear my Macho Man shirt with this and probably a different hat. I'm getting my hair cut tomorrow at 11.30. Thanks for letting everyone know where you'll be tomorrow at 11.30. See you there, <laughs> Candace. That's his hairdresser, in case you're wondering. You can't just throw out women's names and let the, the people wonder <laughs> who you're talking to. Candace is a very special woman in my life that cuts my hair once every couple months. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Are we done? I think so. Thank you all for watching our Thanks haul. Thanks for watching. Tell me if you think about good things or horrible things. Or yeah. What are your thoughts? Yeah. Let us know your thoughts. Be brutally honest. We can take it. Also, I need to get back into the routine of asking, how's, how's the, weather the weather in your neck of the woods? <laughs> what? How's the weather where you are? That's what yeah. I said. I like to know how the weather is. Here, it's been cloudy and rainy. Good to know. Okay, no one cares. <laughs> all right, like the the video and uh, subscribe and all, all the stuff you're supposed to do. You know the drill. Do those things. Please do don't it. thumbs down for Dave's jacket. Yeah, seriously. Thumbs up for the thumbs shirt. Thumbs up for the jacket. And Just the shirt. thumbs up for everything. I'll tell you where to put your thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> Turning it off. Good night or goodbye.